experience uh, in the areas of radar, electronic warfare, electromagnetic effects on uh, electronics, and also directed energy weapons and their effects. Uh, I spent 37 years at the Army Research Laboratory in Adelphi, Maryland, and then I have been with the service engineering for the last eight years. Today, we're going to talk about one of the forms of directed energy weapons, namely the high power radio frequency slash microwave, HPM for short, although there's lots of different names, as I'll show in a moment, directed energy weapons and their effects. The next slide is an outline. And what we're going to cover today is a basics of what are HPM directed energy weapons, why are they important to the warfighter, how are HPM weapons different than high energy lasers, and how are HPM directed energy similar to uh, electronic warfare, traditional electronic warfare, but different. Also, how are our high power make directed energy weapons similar to but different from nuclear generated electromagnetic pulse. When we're going to talk about how HPM couples into a target, what type of effects it can cause, a brief description of how we can protect our systems against HPM pulses, and then a summary and questions. This next slide gives you a uh, description of definition of what a high power radio frequency microwave directed energy weapon is. In the community, it's also known as a number of other names that can be confusing if people don't realize they're all talking similar things. Some of those names are such things as electromagnetic weapons, RF weapons, non nuclear EMP electronic bombs, etc. The main definition is, is that HPM dues are electromagnetic sources that can generate and direct intense radio frequency microwave energy at a target. It says electronic target there, but actually it's to be more general since there are some non, uh, there are some non-lethal directed energy weapons that could also be other types of targets. There's no direct definition for what's the difference between a high power microwave do and a radar, but we've tempted to basically have a dividing point of that if it's a source has a peak effective radiated power of greater than 100 megawatts or radiated energy of greater than one joule per second, it typically would fall into the area of high power microwave sources. The range of frequencies of these sources can vary significantly depending upon what you're talking about. Uh, as it shows there, you're talking anywhere from the, in the electromagnetic spectrum of high frequency to very high frequency, to ultra high frequency, to microwaves, to millimeter waves. And the most important thing to remember about HPM dues, the takeaway from all of this, is that they can attack targets with and without intentional antennas and receivers. That's unlike electronic war, traditional electronic warfare jammers. They also can produce persistent 